Hello, Melvin here again, and this video is a showcase of the tarot deck that I created, the Tarot of Neo Fiction, and I was supposed to do this on the stream the other night, but I forgot to hit record, <laughs> so we're doing it now. Anyway, as you can see, this is the premium edition, it comes with a zip pouch, and the cards themselves are going to be linen. The cardstock feels really good. And the reason why I chose linen is because it's a bit higher quality and it's less likely to get scratched and damaged. Uh, the other version, the regular version, that is a smooth finish. It does not come with the zip pouch, as you can see here. It comes with a generic black bag and you know as long as you have something to carry them in and it's function it works that's all we really care about the cards themselves they're going to be the same size same images it's just a different quality of texture but other than that pretty much the same also uh the size of the cards they're just standard tarot size so you're good on that regards not small not super jumbo or anything all right, with that out the way, let's get into the card showcase. Okay, so it's 80 cards in the deck, and even though it's 80, technically it's 79 usable cards. The bonus 80th card is just me saying thank you, so to speak. So you'll see it when we get there. And if you like more details about the cards or anything like that, be sure to check out the live stream that I did. So this is my version of the Fool, the Explorer. Oh, and we'll just, here's the back so you can see as well. <laughs> the Explorer, I love the colors here. Wait till you guys see them in person. They really, really pop. The Magician, or the Conjurer as I call them. The Oracle. Uh, the Enchanting Lady, which is the Empress, the equivalent to the Empress. The Enchanting Lord, the equivalent to the Emperor. And this is unique to my deck. I do not have a Hierophant. Instead, I have Devotion and Faith. And Devotion and Faith are pretty much the Hierophant, but split in two because you can't have faith without devotion and you can't be devoted without having some type of faith my version of the lovers beloved again when you see these in person let me tell you the colors really really pop looks so good and it feels really good in the hand as well although you know what i might be biased which, eh, I mean, you know, it's okay. Excursion, which is my version of the chariot in a semi-truck coming through. And of interesting note are the uh, colorings. I try to make it like an ambulance, and an ambulance isn't going to stop for no one. When you got to go, you got to go. Strength, or the fearless one. Oh, come on, focus. There you go. Fearless one. So this is pretty much a classic take on the strength card. It's just she's in Times Square. Uh, the recluse, my version of the hermit. And part of the reason why I decided to rename them is because I want to make this deck personal for me. And you could call the cards whatever you want. You know, if you get it, it's your deck. It's personal towards you. Do whatever you want with it. One of my favorites here, Twist of Fate or the Will of Fortune. Now, the cool thing with this is I was inspired by the three fates of Greek mythology, and I can't remember their names, <laughs> which is annoying, but that's, that's okay. More Greek influence is Adjudication here, which is my version of Justice, and she was inspired by Athena and the Colossus of Rhodes. 
And I do like the chains that's around her and you still have the scales and everything tied to the buildings and it looks like she's walking towards you. Not someone you want to make upset. Of course, we have Ensnarl, the hangman, pretty much. Demise. Or death, whatever you want to call them. Self-discipline. This co These colors really pop here, too. Self-discipline or temperance. And here is our devil or the alluring man. And with this one, I said on the stream that I was actually trying to get a, create a mix of Ryan Reynolds and the actor who plays Lucifer from the TV show. <laughs> I think I did an okay job with it. And you see Ruination here is clearly my version of the tower. Now, the, the cool thing with this deck is if you're familiar with the Rider White system, then you'll pick this up right away. I wanted it to be simple to the point without too much abstract imagery or symbolism because that's just not how I personally work. I'm a very simple, practical guy and hopefully that translates over with the cards so the cleansing one which is the star reflection which is the moon the illumination which is the sun and this one is very unique because it's sunlight coming out of what appears to be an egg so it's something that's cracking and the light is coming out it's very cool Redemption or judgment and growth and understanding or the world, the universe, depending on the other decks. Okay, so on to our miners. Now, I don't really know what to call the miners too much, so we're just going to stick with blades. And we have the ace of blades. Which, I don't know, should you take that knife or shouldn't you? Hmm. Our two here, decisions, decisions. Which way are you going to go or do you not want to make said decision? This is my favorite one from the blades, the three here. And um, I just love her busting out of the heart. And you can see the heart has stitching on it and it's stabbed and all of that. Our four blades, our five, the six is fairly classic for the most part, boat, water, trying to get away. Now, I love the seven here. It's just, to me, it's just funny. I don't know. I set this on stream, but for whatever reason, I have a thing for just people thinking they're getting away with it only to see the cops and they're like uh oh and they try to the escape our eight which for whatever reason a lot of people kept saying man that's a hot chick it's like she's not supposed to be hot she's supposed to overcome a uh, classic nine of blades we have our 10 which is just probably uh, focus thank you which is probably just extremely intense maybe more intense than it needs to be and i call pages couriers so courier of blades cutting her path i call knights gallant and our gallant of blades our queens are matriarchs And she is very much inspired by the traditional queen of swords, having her hand out, holding a weapon up like, hey, I'll give you one chance or it's off of your head. And our patriarch, which are kings. And he is just peering through your soul. Don't lie to me. Tell me the truth. Lying isn't going to get you anywhere. Our Ace of Pearls. Pearls are my version of cups uh, because pearls, they come from something that has to be opened up. They have to 
be pried and wiggled in and is very much like our emotions. There are precious things that you have to work to get to. Our two of pearls. Our three of pearls here. Uh, classic celebration, just in a different way. So as you can tell, this is a very modern deck in a way with the imagery and stuff. It's things that we can relate to. I think that's very important having relatability. And I didn't want to do anything too fantastical or medieval because it's just overdone. You see it a lot, even though, again, this is inspired by the Rider White. Our Four of Pearls. Our Five, which is a classic image. Our six, which is probably my favorite in the pearls. And I just love it. Um, the nostalgia, the memories, the rest, relaxation, and the daffodils that surround them. Our seven here, which someone said reminded them of Willy Wonka. <laughs> so I'll go with that. Eight of pearls. Our nine and our ten. So, interesting thing with the pearls is every single one has water in it. It may not be very noticeable, especially on this camera, but all of them have water. Even the ones that appear not to, it's raining in those pictures, so it's still water. Here's our courier, or yeah, courier. I don't know why I almost said carrier. Here's our carrier of the disease. No, let's not. Our gallant inspired by John Wick. And our matriarch who was kind of was inspired by like those 50s uh, pinup girls. Not fully, but you, you, you know by seeing it, you, you get it. Our patriarch here, relaxing, doing his thing, and on to the canes. So we have the ace of canes, and the, the, the canes were very difficult for me to uh, create, <laughs> extremely difficult. Our two, our three, this was the hardest one out of the entire deck to make this three of canes, but I do like it with the winding road and everything. Our four, our five, this is probably my favorite one. <laughs> Old people fighting at bingo. Yeah, get that focus right. I, I absolutely love that. <laughs> oh boy. Our six here, which I think it came out lovely. Our seven, this one is my second favorite, the seven of canes. The eight, which I tried to have movement. And that's something with this deck. Like I try to simulate movement. Our nine is a very classic one. And here is our 10, also classic. It's just he's not carrying the canes on his back, but um, he's carrying something. It's heavy, sunset. He wants that weight off of him. Our courier. Our gallant. This is one that a lot of folks who follow unexplained possibilities can definitely relate to. This matriarch of canes here dance around the fire with her cat looking sexy if i do say so myself so she was sort of inspired by vamp uh, vampiric lore mixed with the little gothic things and you know just sort of what i find attractive so what does that say about me and our patriarch of Cain's here is interesting because he is the only patriarch who doesn't wear a hat. He's just laid back, kicking back, and it's just like, I'm relaxing. Okay, so 
onto our aces. So, or excuse me, not aces, sorry, our uh, ace of flowers. We'll call them flowers or vines or something. We'll, we'll stick with flowers for right now. So, these were the easiest for me to create. Like, all for the most part, all the flowers here, they just they just came easily. So I love this too. It's just beautiful. The three, the three of flowers. This is a, again, a classic one in a way. Two's a party, three's a, a crowd. And I even have it to where there are two flowers coming out of the vines that are together. And this one's trying to impede. And it's like, you gotta go, bud. Our six, which which I think might be, or excuse me, not six, but our four, which might be my favorite one in, out of the uh, minor vines or flowers. Our five, which is a classic image. Our six here, which I really like. The vines wrapping around, the flowers growing, the scales, making sure things are equal. Our seven. The seven sort of looks melancholy, doesn't it? So does the eight, the eight of flowers here. It looks, looks melancholy, but I still like it. The nine, which this one, I knew from the start what it should be. It was just, I was struggling with the flower placement. But I like them at the top here. She's exiting this maze and has this guiding light. And our 10. Oh, I can't wait, wait, wait to see how everyone enjoys these when they get them in person. Oops, and these aren't in order. Let's uh, fix that real quick. Our courier. Our gallant. So notice he's the only one that's not riding or leading the horse anywhere. He's just kind of resting and resting with the horse, eating, doing his thing. Our matriarch. And I wanted this matriarch to look motherly because I, I always think with the queen of pentacles kind of like a mother i know it's sort of weird saying that but that's how i felt and her figure is a little bit different than the other she's peaceful she's at a picnic and all of that it's just something beautiful about this one and finally our patriarch seeing the fruits of his labor and collecting it being on top <laughs> And last but not least, a thank you. And there we go. That is the flip through of the Tarot of Neo Fiction created by me, Melvin. And if you are interested in purchasing this deck, check the description as it will take you to where you can get it. And uh, any support is welcomed. And if you do decide to purchase, please make a video on it. Tell me your thoughts, share it in the comments. And while, while at it, be sure to follow Unexplained Possibilities on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, Instagram, all the social media places. And those links are in the description below. So thank you all again for the support. Thank you all again for watching. And I will be seeing you next time.